Okay, welcome to our third in the uh, series of screencasts for School Dude. We're going to show you on uh, this video how to make a booking request for a facility. So, let's go to our regular entry page here. It will ask you for your email address. And there we go, jmaxisp.cz. I submit that and it takes me to this page here and from here there's maintenance requests on the tap, schedule requests my requests that I've already made so this is a facility schedule request if you haven't already done so I'd recommend that you bookmark this page so that any other future maintenance or facility requests are just one click away and there it is there on my toolbar now um, so there's three types of schedule you can make uh, here. Uh, the first one is a single date or multiple dates with the same location and area. That's a normal schedule. A recurring schedule is something that perhaps happens uh, every day of the month or uh, one day of the month every year or once a week throughout the year. Or an irregular schedule is one which works on uh, inconsistent dates or times or uses inconsistent locations. I'm going to show you how to book a normal schedule request. Okay, as with all of the school dude applications, if there's a tick there, it's required information. As you can see, it automatically enters my name and email address. I don't need to do that. Um, I would like to do a singing class. Uh, singing class is my event title. Um, there's no red check here, so I'm not going to enter the description. I don't think that's necessary. My location, I would like to do it in the blue room, I think. Uh, and it will select the rooms available in the area. So you'd have to select blue room. If you'd had, uh, again, if you'd had, for example, theatre areas, you'd have to select which one of these theatre areas you wanted to use. So let's go blue room, blue room, there we go. The date is going to happen tomorrow. Now, one of the great things about School Dude here is you can see if it's available at what times tomorrow. So on the 8th, I click check availability. If there's an X, a slot is booked. Okay, there's a slot that's booked there at 3, so I can't have it then. Which is just as well, because I wanted to book it at 10. Let me close that. Now, the start time is 10 a.m., and I'm going to finish. Oops, 10 a.m., and my class will finish by 11 a.m. What is crucially important here though as well that if you need setup you need to make sure there's time allowed for that setup. So if you want to be in there and start your class by 10 and there's 15 minutes of setup you need to make sure that you put 9.45 as setup time and 11.15 as breakdown time. Otherwise the maintenance simply aren't going to be able to get in there and get things how you require them. Uh, duration is an hour, that's done, okay, for the day. Now here's a page, select organization, you must put something in here, uh, you can just put in all school elementary, whichever section of the school you're in, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to put all school for me. You don't need to enter anything in these fields here, nor insurance information, again that's not relevant. Now. Uh, custodial, I, I wanted, uh, let's say I wanted the room clean, please clean the room, let me just put, let's put in the test in for there, uh, I need event setup, I would like 25 chairs, uh, let me just put again, this is a test, just so they don't put 25 chairs in there tomorrow, and uh, uh, remove chairs, okay. Uh, test. Um, give them an idea of how many people are attending. Let's say there's 40 attending, there's uh, 15 adults and 25 students. No other needs there. And then all you do is you enter your password, which is a good old ISP password, is Falcons, F A L C O N S. Save. And what's happened then is your booking. Okay, oh, your booking has now gone through 